All right, so here's a video to show you how to request to relocate. So I'm logged in here as a fake client um, with a fake name, Christy Sims. Um, I go here to relocations. And then here, you know, it tells me um, this account is set up as a renter. We don't have a way that you could, you know, request to relocate because it doesn't seem like you have a setup. So with this, what we want to do is go to set up by relationship with the PHA. And then here, um, I'll enter a unit address. So this is the address where I'm currently living now. And then I go to search. All right, so it says here, um, this unit is assisted by DHA. So I'll click verify. And then here, um, it'll say, if you've received a relationship code in the past um, that has, you know, a automatically generated six digit code, um, you can enter it here. Um, if not, you could just say, no, I did not receive this by email or postal mail. Um, and then here, it's gonna ask you to confirm this email account. Um, so it looks like this is the email that you provided um, for this legal entity. Um, if you don't have this email address, what you could do is say, click here. And now I can enter the last four of my social. Um, so for this one, I'll enter one, two, and then submit. Great. So now that relationship has been verified. Um, and now you can request to relocate. So then you would go ahead and enter you know, the same information that you normally would. Um, it is really good to have at least 60 days before your lease expires, but at the very least, at least 30 days. Um, and then here you want to enter um, the reason for relocating. So um, if it's an abatement, if your unit failed HQS, then you could select this one. Um, generally, you're going to have the owner doesn't want to renew the lease or is selling the property. Um, you can enter that one. Uh, if there are any other reasons, you can select that um, or scroll down to other and enter that as well. And then for here, um, if you're requesting to relocate to another jurisdiction, like if you're porting your voucher out, you can click yes here and then enter a different housing authority. Um, and make sure that you find it from the list that's down here. Um, so let's say you want to go to Chicago, you want to click the Chicago Housing Authority here. Um, and then the email of that caseworker that you're reporting out to. So this message just lets you know that um, a PHA can't be written like that. It's sort of like a Google verified address where you want to make sure that you could select it from the drop down. Um, and then if you're not porting out, just click no and click done. Um, Oh, it looks like I already have um, one request to relocate that's in progress, so I can't do it again. So this will block you from that. So that just lets you know that you already have one in progress. All right, so I can just click cancel here. Um, and I'll post this video so that you can see how to do it. Thanks.